I am the Nature Hacker, and this is your world. So today I want to talk about um, a new fuel that I'm working on. It's basically um, based on a charcoal. Um, and so it's fuel based on activated charcoal, charcoal, whatever. So um, my last fuel was based on humic acid, which is basically the drippings from compost. You know, so you kind of you extract humic acid from compost. It's a it's like plant material after all of the enzymes and all of the bacteria and fungus and everything have broken it down. You're left with humic acids. You can extract that from very mature compost. Um, but that's not the easiest thing to do. You know, it's not that easy to make massive amounts of compost. You know, compost requires a lot of work. So something that's a lot easier than compost is charcoal. All you have to do is take any type of um, wood material and start a little fire and then just cover it in dirt or whatever so that you know it basically just smokes it and you're left with charcoal um, then what you need to do um, you might not need to do that but um, need to do this next step but um, it will definitely make things better for this fuel that we're doing so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take chunks lumps of that charcoal extract it with uh, a dilute phosphoric acid and just cook it for like <clears throat> eight hours boiling in dilute phosphoric acid and then um, what you're going to want to do is powder it. I use a big industrial ceramic mortar and pestle by Coors Company um, so there's that so then so what you've got is you've got an activated charcoal powder. Now what you want to do is add that powder to oil, to some oil, and the ratio, I don't really know exactly, but um, you add that powder to oil. I'm going to actually, I'm going to show you my final product, so stick, stick in there. I just... I haven't optimized the protocol yet, but this is the basic. So you, you add some of that powder to oil and you grind it even finer. Just ultra fine, as fine as you can get it. Alright, so we got that. Now what you do is, it's probably going to be all stuck around in your mortar and pestle or whatever. So what you're going to want to do then is, once it's in this paste of charcoal powder oil paste, then you're going to mix on the side, you're going to mix some sodium or potassium hydroxide in water and then pour that in and then just kind of grind that around. So what you're doing is you're turning that oil into soap basically. Um, you're saponifying it with that uh, strong base potassium or sodium hydroxide. And then you have a water suspension. So now your charcoal powder isn't going to fall out of solution. One sec, be right back. All right, I just wanted to get something to show you. So this is, if you don't do the oil and soap step, you have something like this. You know, you have charcoal powder at the bottom of water and, you know, it just, it's not, it's not water soluble, you know, it'll just fall out of solution, so. Um, so there's that, but I mean, this the cool stuff with this is that I actually, it's ultra, ultra fine, if you probably noticed when I shook it. The way I got it so fine is I actually oxidized it with nitric, sulfuric and nitric acid mixed with a little bit of iron powder, and that really just broke the charcoal powder way down really fine. So that's a way to get it ground up ultra fine if you don't have an amazing grinder or something, so... There's that. Now, um, this is what it looks like when you do my protocol. What I'm going to do. And so that's a very dilute. I just want to make sure that it didn't fall out of solution, and it didn't. That was a overnight sitting in the fridge, and it did not fall out of solution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of this on a piece of paper so you can kind of see what that is. It's a very, it's a very dilute. So, that's what it looks like. So it's just very dilute. But what's cool is you can see that it's staying suspended really well. You know, it's, it didn't fall out of solution. Now this is a little more dense version here. 
Um, so I'll show you that. I mean, I do, I do feel some of the powder at the bottom. Um, but uh, yeah. So that's a little uh, more concentrated there. So yeah, I mean, I think, I think it's concentrated enough. Um, Or, you know, I think, you know, it's possible to concentrate enough to run a diesel engine on. So, I mean, that's the whole goal here is to run a diesel engine. I mean, the, the goal is run a diesel engine in, with um, this charcoal dust. And in order to do that, we're going to need to um, use some oil. So I used olive oil in the grinding process. And the oil, I mean, what is obvious from the results of it, you know, not settling, is that the oil goes into the charcoal, and then what happens is the uh, the outsides of that oil get saponified by the um, sodium or potassium hydroxide, and then so now that's a water soluble thing. So it's like these these charcoal powders now have this water soluble coating on them, basically from this oil that's been saponified so so that's how to get it suspended in water I mean it's it's amazing that it's suspended in water and I I'm surprised that my method worked but you know it did so there's that so that's there for you um, that's a new recipe to make a water-based diesel fuel um, I am the nature hacker go do 